Hey, good evening, everyone. Meteorologist Zach Batten for the Bell Park Weather Network. Here to go ahead and get you started for your mainly Wednesday. Uh, we'll take a look at things this evening, but uh, for the most part, we're going to be getting you ready for your Wednesday. And we have some good news, uh, you know, for most of us. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Taking a look at your work commute tomorrow morning. Uh, if you happen to be out overnight or before, you know, about 8 a.m. or so, you might run into some patchy fog here and there. Uh, our downtown Toledo cam is picking on that, uh, picking up on that pretty well. Uh, it's not super dense and, you know, not much like we saw last week, but uh, it's definitely out there and you'll probably run into some dense patches here and there. That being said, th this morning or tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> will be... Everyone will be pretty much right in the mid-30s, so uh, plenty of clouds around. But the good news is we'll be dry, so uh, we're expecting to stay dry pretty much all day. By the time you head home, some of you, if you're lucky, you might see some peaks of sunshine, so we can remember that it does in fact exist. Uh, those of us here in northern Ohio, slim chance. It's still not zero, but slim chance. Uh, so, tomorrow compared to, you know, the past couple days, it's not going to be bad. We'll be slightly warmer in some areas, but still plenty of clouds around overall. But the peaks of sun may show up towards, especially towards the end of the day. <clears throat> and then we'll see maybe a little bit more clearing overnight before clouds move back in for Thursday. But don't worry, there is more sun coming up here uh, within the next week or so. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at your future radar here, starting off, of course, about midnight or so. Plenty of clouds around. The system that moved through earlier today is exiting the region, especially in the mid-Ohio Valley and eastern Ohio. So that's going to continue to move on out. And as we go through the overnight, you see uh, maybe a few breaks in the clouds, uh, but overall I think we'll stay pretty cloudy. Uh, and then as we move into the morning hours, <clears throat> it's, you know, future radar here is picking up on maybe a little something there and kind of, uh, you know, Western Ohio ish. Um, more than likely we'll be dry all day. Not really expecting much. There's not going to be much moisture to work with. Uh, so not expecting anything in the way of precipitation. And as we go through the day, you see all this white, that's all cloud cover, plenty of it hanging on, but you see some of it really, it's starting to break. It's trying. It really wants to, it knows it does. And as we continue on into the evening, you see some of those breaks in central and southwest Ohio. But uh, if we do see any sun or any clear skies after dark, uh, more than likely it won't last long. And it'll be very spotty at best. So the good news is through the day tomorrow, it'll be dry. So there's that. We have that to look forward to. It's not all bad. It will be okay. And the forecast, you know, as we go through the next week or so is really not looking bad. So... With all that being said, short, sweet, to the point video here this evening. I'm meteorologist Zach Batten with the Bell Park Weather Network. I hope you all have a fantastic Wednesday, and I will see you more than likely sometime tomorrow evening. Have a fantastic day, everyone.